them problems with uh, law enforcement with a few of the yep. people and finally Darwin has settled down to a normal everyday town now. And then we want to portray it that way. Yeah, we want it portrayed that way. We don't want people to think, gosh, I don't want to go to Darwin. Somebody's going to beat me up and take my money and dump me in a hole someplace. It's not going to happen here. That's not going to happen here. Yeah, that was the best part of Darwin. That was the days of mining. Like I say, I went to mine as a greenhorn and... I didn't know what to think of it or anything else, but I stuck with it to keep my job and stuff. And I don't know, the miner are completely different people. It's like uh, construction people. It's like uh, engineers on a railroad. Everybody lives their own life. The miners live their own life. And I thought it was pretty damn good <laughs> myself. So, one time all us miners went to town and fly. We went to town and we went to the bar. And the guys were raising hell and this guy kept fooling with this one miner's wife. And they ended up throwing this guy out of the bar. So this guy went to the sheriff and told him that they took him out and tied him to a tree and left him there. And the sheriff said, who were these guys that supposed to have done this? Well, he says, I heard a bunch of miners from Darwin. And the sheriff told him, he says, oh my God, man. He says, get in your car and go home. He says, why? He says, you're lucky you're alive. Okay, not tonight. There we go. This house 